James Cook last year, 237 rush attempts, 1,122 yards, four, uh, two rushing touchdowns, 44 receptions for 50 on 54 targets, 445 yards, and four touchdowns to the air. Thoughts on James Cook? Dude needs a couple red zone opportunities for God's sake. Like, I like James Cook. I think his passing work's going to go up. There's a ton of targets that left Buffalo um, between Gabe Davis and and Stephon Diggs. So I think James Cook is still going to see a big, you know, a, a a big overall workload. Wouldn't surprise me to see him just north of 300 total touches. It's just a matter of whether he can get it in the end zone or not right um you know six total touchdowns sounds pretty okay but for him to be up in this value you'd really like him to be in that eight to ten range realistically for it to kind of pay off the way you want it to and and i think he can get there but a lot of it i think a lot of it's going to be coming out of this receiving work so his biggest deal is he's got to keep the ball right he can't be putting the ball on the ground but i do think we will see a shift in buffalo like they were at their best last year when they fed James Cook early and often. They got him involved in games. They got him into the passing game. They were able to run him uh, and get him outside and into space. Like, And now they need to because Josh Allen can't do all this on his own. And, and as good as Dalton Kincaid is, he is not going to absorb an extra 270 targets or whatever the heck it was between all the receivers that left town. Uh, someone's got to get the ball in Buffalo. And and I'm not sure that I trust any of the receivers overall. So, you know, that leaves Josh Allen or James Cook. And I'm not spending a third-round pick on Josh Allen. So I don't know what Buffalo did to the schedule makers to piss them off, but holy cow, that's brutal. That's a brutal schedule that they've got. It's, I know statistically it will be impossible for them to play playoff teams, to play all playoff teams. That is statistically impossible, but, man – Man, do they have – they've got some tough games in front of them. Where he is here at uh, 14, yeah, 14 feels about right uh, for James Cook. So uh, I think it's a what you see is what you get. Uh, this is a guy, though, that I don't know that I necessarily would want to uh, be putting on my running back – or putting on my roster as my running back one. Um to it right like this is a guy that i would would certainly not mind putting him as my running back too right but if going through like a zero rb hero rb type of strategy um, i guess it'd be a zero rb at that point right like if i'm going through that this is not the guy that i want leading uh, being the anchor for my running back room for my fantasy roster right like there's a lot of ups uh, upside lots of really good things right when joe brady took over the offense through the last you know, weeks 11 through 18, uh, James Cook was certainly involved, averaging over 100 yards a game to it, seeing lots of touches, seeing lots of opportunity there. Uh, this is a guy, though, that that doesn't see much work when it comes to the red zone, right? Didn't see it last year. I don't think that that really changes much this year. We'll, we know that Josh Allen will vulture touchdowns, um, you know, rushing touchdowns to it. Uh, they also went out and drafted Ray Davis, who very well could be the, uh, the goal line red zone type of, running back there as well and may, and is definitely a bit more of a thumper.